<laughs> hey, what is going on, guys? It's Alex Fire Zero Four Nine bringing you another commentary here on Operation Hastings. This time's on Vietnam, and um, I really just wanted to talk about Hurricane Irene, which passed by my area Saturday night and Sunday morning. So, um, and a lot of the news media and people were anticipating this hurricane to be like a massive hurricane, and it was pretty strong the hurricane, but it didn't do that much damage around my block. But the aftermath of this hurricane was really, really bad. I mean, like. I live in New York City, so I live in the borough Queens, and the media, if I remember, they said that that Queens got like 200 trees that collapsed, and Brooklyn had the second most trees that collapsed, like probably um, 130 or more. I don't know. But the hurricane wasn't wasn't that bad around my block, at least. Luckily for me, no trees collapsed around my block. There were casualties from this hurricane though, so I wouldn't say this hurricane was weak. There was at least 21 casualties, like 21 people died from the storm. And also a lot of people lost the power, like over a million people in the area where the hurricane hit lost, lost power. In New York City around like 60,000 people lost power, so that's pretty huge and there was floods. There's floods around Queens, Brooklyn, Delaware. There was actually a tornado that hit in Delaware. I forgot where, but there was a tornado that hit in Delaware. They also issued a tornado warning in Queens and Brooklyn at around 4 a.m. I actually, I actually went to sleep like at 5 a.m. on Sunday, Sunday morning, because I actually just stood up and just wanted to watch the hurricane pass by and see what, what would happen and like. Nothing exciting happened around my block, nothing fell. All I saw was the trees getting blown by the hurricane winds, but nothing nothing severe, luckily for me. My house is actually, I have a power line in front of my house, like, it was the exact thing, so luckily that thing didn't collapse. It looked like it was gonna fall down by the wind, because the wind was pushing the, the power line really strong. I could see it swaying back and forth, like, holy shit, is this gonna fall, or what? I actually stood awake and watched the news at around 5 a.m. and then I went to sleep because I man gotta get to sleep, right? But and the media did do a good job covering the hurricane, but the hurricane wasn't that strong or as they expected it to be. Well, it was strong. In my in my block, the hurricane didn't hit that strong, but a lot of other parts they were strong. Trees collapsed on cars. There's also a 10 year old boy who died from the from a tree collapsing at his bedroom and he died so this hurricane did do severe damage and did cause casualties but the hurricane wasn't that strong around my block so I'll be proud to say that I survived Hurricane Irene 2011 <laughs> nah. but for the first time in New York City, like there was a massive evacuation. People had to evacuate from their homes from New York City because in those zones where there might be a flooding, a major flooding in their storm, then they had to evacuate because they were still experiencing flooding. And some people actually issued mandatory evacuations around New York City, but they didn't make the evacuate the people by force. If people didn't want to evacuate, they not evacuate. They wanted to live out the hurricane. And they saw the damage that caused if they live on a zone that floods, so saw trees falling and everything, so <laughs> they decided to stay at their risk, risk. So luckily for them, some of them did survive. There was massive flooding. <laughs> there was a tornado in Delaware. God damn! It was actually a Category One hurricane, so it's still a, sh a hurricane because Category One could issue up like winds from up to 90 miles per hour and those could knock down trees especially around New York City where they kept saying that the, the trees weren't that saturated and so it could, it could fall okay, charge is set. but you know none of the trees fell in my block so that's actually a good way. idea and a lot of people were like disappointed that this hurricane wasn't strong enough like why would you want a strong hurricane like you don't want some people that like they want a hurricane by their desire or what? <laughs> like they're it, the thing guy wasn't like a category five hurricane like Hurricane Katrina. Because if you saw the damage that New Orleans got from Hurricane Katrina, then um 
how would you want that to happen in New York City? They'd be like, oh, this hurricane wasn't strong. <laughs> Thank God that it wasn't strong, because... Some people did get dam property damage, and <laughs> I don't think they're happy about that. So, some people are just like... I don't know. No one should be happy of a natural disaster. No one should. <laughs> I mean, like... Yeah, I don't know. And some people actually check tweets like saying, because I don't use Twitter. I think Twitter is retarded because some people tweet about like saying, oh, I'm taking a shit, FTW, but. <laughs> but people actually checked recent tweets about like, you know, what people have experienced through the hurricane because some people just tweet about like, oh shit, a tree fell in my block, FTW, but. <laughs> some people are actually. Some people that actually experienced a hurricane, like, I don't know, Puerto Rico experienced a hurricane. They were saying that, that us people in the northeastern stuff, stuff, hey, my god, us people in the northeastern part of the United States were really overreacting at this hurricane. Well, and that the worst has already passed around Puerto Rico, and the Puerto Rico or someplace else where they got most damage. They really got the damage, and, um, New York City or people around the Northeast, like South South Carolina, I think North Carolina, not South. They were really, they were really, you know, they evacuated. Like we had a great chance. Like just 21 people who died through the storm. And for us, them saying that, like some people say, oh, we experience hurricanes all the time. You guys shouldn't be, shouldn't be worried. You guys such scary cats or whatever overreacting like this was a strong hurricane and in New York City like they actually had like the like the first major evacuation they actually shut down the trans transportation like trains and buses on New York City for like the first time so this hurricane was expected to be strong and hit New York City hard so this hurricane eh, I really don't mind if it wasn't. People don't think it was strong or not. It did cause some damage. I wasn't affected by the hurricane, thank God, because if I was, then that would have been hell. So enough about the hurricane. I actually just wanted to make a commentary about the hurricane. This thing will not get. The wall won't come out. Like, some some parts in Battlefield Bad Company too. It does have destruction, but not everything is destructible. Like that wall, for example. See. So people who were affected by the hurricane, like, good luck on overcoming it. This hurricane was strong. It actually downgraded to a tropical storm on Sunday morning. Over a million people in the area, 60,000 in New York City lost power. Electricity. So, um, so, yeah, so, good luck to those people who were affected by this hurricane, and um, this is the end of my commentary. I got some Call of Duty Black Ops commentary next. <laughs> yes, Call of Duty. And, um, and also, you know, the Battlefield gameplay. So, hope you guys enjoyed this commentary, and until next time, peace. Their mission is to try and stop the heavy flow of rice. Feed